All right. Good morning again to all new international students um, for this orientation program of the summer semester 2022. I had briefly introduced myself already. My name is Jan Benzin and, and will be the host of this first information program. Um, I'm international student advisor here at the International Center and I will start with a little introduction of what the International Center does and about the, I will talk about the advising um, services that we offer. Together with me, there's my colleague from the International Center, Angelika Koslowski, who is responsible for uh, the student services of the International Center. She will also talk to you later. And then we have three other organizations here. One is uh, the Studentenwerk Schleswig-Holstein. What they do, they will introduce to you later. My colleague, Johanna Usinger, is here from Studentenwerk. Uh, then we have the Student Union, or the ASTA, as we say in German, Allgemeiner Studierendenausschuss, and the representative for international students, Mauricio Duarte. And then we have a very, very uh, important student organization here on campus, Kultur Grenzenlos. And I would like to welcome Rochta Arslan. She will tell you what Kultur Grenzenlos does later. Um, before I start to talk about the International Center and the services, um, I would like to uh, give a little introduction about the city of Kiel. Uh, I know that many of you are, you are probably still in your home country. Uh, unfortunately, the situation at the German embassies is very, very difficult. We know that. And because of that, um, many international students are still waiting for their visa or for their appointment to apply for the visa. Um, years before, when the situation was not as tense as it is today, we had this orientation program and presence here at the International Center. But so that everybody can, um, can follow our presentation, we do everything online this semester and probably next winter semester again. So some of you have probably already arrived in Kiel, though. And then you have seen the city a little bit. But just for everybody, I would like to give a little overview of what our city looks like and what what it is. Uh, the city of Kiel is the, the capital of the land or as we say the land the state of Schleswig-Holstein with this which is the most northern state right at the border to Denmark. We are a relatively small city compared maybe to some of the cities where you come from with 250,000 inhabitants. Um, but it is a very it is a very green city with many parks where you can find the, the students, especially in the summer semester, doing barbecue and meeting when the weather is nice. Um, and um, it is a city like any other city with many cultural attractions. We have theaters, uh, opera houses, and many other things where students can go to. Um, and maybe you've heard of the famous Kieler Woche, the Kiel Week, which is a uh, very well-known international sailing championship, which usually uh, takes place at the end of June. And the last two years due to Corona, um, it didn't take place at all. And last year, uh, that was two years ago, and last year they had to postpone it to September. This year, we hope that Kila Woche will be as it was before by the end of June, hopefully if Corona doesn't change it again. But uh, this is just a brief overview of what the city is like. And you see some of the pictures here. You see that we have, we since we are located directly at the border, at the Baltic Sea, we have um, many uh, ferry lines that go to Scandinavia and to the Baltic Sea. You can see that on the pictures here as well. And many things in Kiel are somehow connected to the water, not only sports and sailing, but also, of course, scientific research and many aspects of daily life uh, focus around the, the proximity of the water in Kiel. Uh, a few words about our university. We are a medium-sized, a research-focused university, and we are the main university of the state of Schleswig-Holstein. Sometimes we, we are called in German also a full university, which means that you can basically study almost everything that you want to study at our university, with some exceptions, of course, but we are the, since we are the main university of the state of Schleswig-Holstein, we are also a full university. We have eight faculties. I will introduce them later to you. Uh, also, the four uh, research areas I will tell you later. Currently, we have more than 28,000 students. And by the way, we have over 2,000 international students. And you are one of them. And we are very glad that you're here 
if not in person, then at least today already in a digital form. Um, we have three and a half thousand staff members and over 400 professors teaching at the university, and we have over 190 degree programs. The number is growing every semester, especially due to the uh, growing number of English speaking master programs at our university. Uh, I've mentioned already that Kiel University has four major research foci. Uh, due to the proximity to the water, of course, one of our research focus is Kiel marine science. Um, but there are others as well, uh, like Kiel nanoscience, which is uh, located mainly at the technical faculty, a very interdisciplinary approach um, you can see also in societal, environmental, and cultural change, and in key life science. Um, this is, a, is an aspect that is important for all research foci here at Key University, that they all work in a very interdisciplinary and transdisciplinary way, also in cooperation with institutes and organizations outside the university. This is a very important approach of Kiel's research foci. And uh, probably for some of you who have who will now start with their study program, either bachelor and master, this is not that important. But if you decide later to stay in, um, in the in the realm of research, also professionally, then maybe sooner or later, a research focus might become important for you as well. Uh, these are the eight faculties of Kiel University. One of the oldest is the Faculty of Theology, um, focusing here on Protestant theology. Only a very small number of international students enrolled in that uh, faculty, uh, it, it compared especially to the Faculty of Medicine. Um, the Faculty of Medicine, um, in, in that faculty, we can only admit a very small number of international students. The admission is very restricted, but we have a large number of applicants every year. Uh, the Faculty of Arts and Humanities, those are the, as it says, the humanities uh, and uh, focuses on teacher education in that um, faculty. Then, of course, the Faculty of Law, where you can study law. Um, law studies is mainly interesting, of course, for those students German or international students who want to work as a lawyer in Germany afterwards, but we have an international master program, an LLM program, which is um, uh, of a very high importance for international students in that faculty. Then, of course, business and economics and social sciences. I know that we have many students from the Faculty of Economics here today because those are some of the master programs which also start in summer semester. So welcome everybody from that faculty. It's a large group of international students which will start this semester. Uh, then, of course, mathematics and natural sciences with all the natural sciences that you know from physics to chemistry and biology. And the two youngest faculties are agricultural and nutritional sciences and the faculty of engineering. There are probably some students from that faculty as well here today uh, because of the English speaking master programs. Um, uh, our faculty of engineering focuses on computer science and information and electro technology. This is the focus of our faculty. It's the youngest faculty and it's a little, a little outside the main campus. Um, those of you who have started to study in that faculty already, you've noticed probably that the faculty is on the other side of the fjord of Kiel, the water side. And basically, when you look at the map of Kiel, by the way, you'll see that the, the university is spread out all over the city. We have a main part of the campus here, um, which is located at Olshausenstraße and Westring, uh, with all the main administrative units, but then the medical, the medical faculty, faculty of engineering, they are located somewhere else. So we cover the entire city, basically. Okay, this is the International Center. Maybe for those of you who have arrived, you have already noticed where we are. As I said, we are located uh, right um, here at the corner Westring Olshausenstraße. This is where the International Center is located. The International Center um, has a very important role at the university, and it's different from other universities. Um, uh, at most other German universities, um, the international office or the international center is only is only uh, responsible for the exchange students. Here, it's different. We are responsible for the admission, for the application, the admission, and the enrollment of all international students. And we would like to keep it that way. We think it's a very good administrative structure because international students thus know that uh, we are. There's one main 
administrative unit which is important for their for the most administrative parts of their study program and they do not have to go to different units in order to uh, solve administrative problems so uh, this is uh, unique here at key university and we are really glad uh, for both sides for us and for you that that it is this way um, as i said we are in, um, responsible for enrollment and student services my colleague Ms. koslovsky will give you a little uh, more details about important uh, student services after that after that um, after that page and then we are also responsible for service and counseling um, we uh, you can basically come with all problems and questions to the international center it doesn't mean that we can solve all problems but we have a very good cooperation with other organizations like studentenwerk or asta which can solve some of the problems that you have um, this also um, refers to financial problems if students have a financial a difficult time financially it is very difficult to uh, support students financially at the beginning of their study program every student who starts to study should have a solid financial background when they start their study program <clears throat> but every student can face sooner or later probably an urgent financial crisis and if this is the case feel free to contact us and we can see if there are some programs available that could help you we also advise about visa and especially about the resident permit here in um, in uh, Kiel, uh, we do have a, a good cooperation with our immigration office. It can be a little difficult sometimes to get an appointment and um, to get in contact with them, especially right now because of the crisis in Ukraine. Uh, the immigration office here in Kiel is also, is also responsible for handling the refugees from the Ukraine. This is why sometimes it is very difficult. It can take a while to get an answer and it can also take a while to get an appointment to apply for a residence permit. Um, but if you have any questions related to that, also feel free to do that. And we can talk about some of those, uh, about those problems also later <laughs> in the breakout session. Um, then um, we will also tell you a little bit more about health insurance um, questions later on. Uh, and we also about advise about work permits and everything that is related with working on and off campus. Uh, for that topic, we have a special service which is called International Students Career Service. Uh, and my colleague, Mr. Kneisel, who runs that program, will talk to you after that information session at 1230. And he will give you a little introduction about the International Students Career Service that we have. All right. Good. Then before I continue, I would like to give the word and the mm -hmm. stage to my colleague, Ms. Koslowski. Yes, wonderful. Thank you, Jan. And from my side also, a warm welcome to the Kiel University. And my name is Angelika Koslowski, and I work here at the International Center in the Student Administration, Application and Admission uh, Service for Foreign Students, uh, together with uh, four other colleagues. And our topics are all themes concerning your study, your study here at the Kiel University. If you have questions concerning uh, course registration, change of course, or deregistration, leave of absent, or any other topic concerning your stay here at the Kiel University, you, you have, uh, feel free to contact us. And as we know, everything is new for you and you are not so familiar with our student administration system here in Germany. Uh, we will give you some useful tips um, to get a good start here at the Kiel University. And the first one is with your welcome letter. You see it on the right side of this page here. Uh, you all have uh, received this due account email address, and this is uh, the email address which the university uses to share all very important, uh, important information with you. And these could be uh, dates for your examination registration or the time, timelines for the re-registration to each each semester you won't attend at the Kiel University. And by the way, re-registration means 
uh, if you want to attend in the next semester, you should pay the semester fee for the following um, semester and how it works and how it goes and how, how high the amount of the fee you can uh, get from our stu email reminding email which we send to all new students uh, before these timelines uh, are running out and this is the reason uh, why this is the reason why you should activate these new email address it's mandatory for all students and it's a little first you see this uh, new email uh, it's a little bit complicated but to help you uh, we have uh, created a wonderful um, tutorial you can see it on our web uh, web channel from the youtube channel and there we have explained the most important steps how to create these uh, stew email address and would you change the folder please Jan? <laughs> Ah, thank you. This is the tutorial which you can see on the YouTube channel. Uh, you start the bottom. Uh, my colleague Wolfgang uh, explains step by step how everything is uh, working uh, to create your stew email address and to forward this stew email uh, to your private email account. And the next, the next one, please. <laughs> So um, my second um, important advice is um, that you please visit the websites of the International Center uh, time, time by time or regularly um, to keep up the dates on information and changes affecting your international, international students. These are the websites. And in breakout session, we can have a detailed look on, on all topics on that uh, website. And how can you reach us? Um, if you have requests, please send an email to our Apply International or Student Service International email address. And uh, we will answer as soon as possible. We you can reach us also by phone and Zoom or email and on our website, the contact uh, website, uh, you find our contact uh, details, how you can reach us by phone. So that is the first, uh, this would be the first uh, important things. Uh, see you in our in the breakout session. Thank you for your attention. And I wish you a wonderful stay here in Kiel and a pleasant time. All right. Thank you very much, Geely. Um, I want to mention again, my colleague mentioned that as well, uh, that you will you, you talk, you can talk to us in the breakout session, but also this presentation, um, we which we record now, we will uh, share it with you afterwards. When you go to the website again, to the orientation program, mm -hmm. this is where you can find this presentation as a little uh, movie afterwards. Uh, so if you cannot copy or write down everything you want to do now, feel free later to check the website again, and then you can find this presentation again. All right, next slide. Here we go. All right. Um, last semester, the, the topic in, uh, arrival information, corona and uh, uh, corona related quarantine was very important. This semester, it's not that important anymore. However, if you go to our website, we have a little arrival information put together for you. Currently, there are no risk areas or virus variant areas defined in the world by the Robert Koch Institute, uh, which means that uh, there are no quarantine, there's no quarantine required for anybody coming to Germany because of corona except if you catch corona illness, of course. But uh, just for traveling, there is no quarantine um, required anymore. Um, the website, we keep up to date. So when you go to the International Center's website to the arrival information, you usually find uh, the most important aspects um, of corona-related arrival information. 
My colleague has mentioned the topic health insurance again. Um, now, uh, everybody who is under 30, you know that you have to, except for the PhD students, you know that you have to sign up with the public health insurance system in Germany. Uh, we strongly recommend not to get an exemption from the public health insurance system. Sometimes students uh, try to save money and uh, going to a private health insurance um, is usually saving money at the wrong end. Um, you usually end up when you go to a private health insurance, sometimes you can end up with a high medical bill for uh, medical treatments, um, which are usually covered by the public health insurance system. In the past, uh, some students uh, also have, um, have decided decided to go to, to the very cheap public health, uh, private health insurances like Mavista or Care Concept, which are nothing more but travel health insurances. They might be good for the first days after arrival until you are a member of the public health insurance system. But the public health insurances do not even provide an exemption for these health insurances anymore. So whenever you think about leaving or not a, a public health insurance, try to stay in the public health insurance system as long as possible. Um, and do not change to a private one. If you have any questions relating to that, we can also talk about that in the breakout session later. We also recommend to uh, get a liability insurance. Um, the, uh, this is not a requirement for the university or for your residence permit, uh, but liability uh, costs can be really high in Germany, just like in many other countries. Uh, just a few months ago, I had a student who had a bike an, uh, accident um, and uh, he, was, um, he had some liability charges, which were really, really expensive. And since we had that experience, I always stress it now also in the orientation program, we have on our website a few recommendations for that as well. Uh, but there are many liability insurances, they are not that expensive. And we usually, once you enter Germany, give the uh, recommendation to sign up for a liability insurance for your stay here. Um, you know, uh, probably already, and some of you probably have done that already, everybody in Germany needs to register at a city hall. It's not only international people, but also Germans. When we move from one place to the other, we have to register in the new city hall and sign up for residency. Um, international students have to do that as well. Uh, students coming from the uh, European Union, you also have to register and then the local immigration office will be informed about your stay here in Germany. Students coming from outside the European Union, either with a visa or without a visa, you do have to register also as soon as possible because only when you register at the city hall, you can afterwards apply for a residence permit at the local immigration office. Um, uh, the uh, city hall, you can reach now uh, in the morning, I think every day except Wednesday, um, you can go there in the morning without an appointment. They have an online system for appointments or a city hall, which is really usually booked for a few months. So it's usually uh, worth going there in the morning and waiting in the line. Um, to get an appointment in the morning. Um, sometimes you will see that on the online, in the, on the online portal of the city hall, um, you can make an appointment in the suburbs of Kiel. Uh, there is not only the main city hall down, uh, downtown, but the suburbs of Kiel have branches of the city hall as well, and you can sign up for them as well. They sometimes have more appointments, but I recommend to go there in the morning, even though there are long waiting lines, but it usually makes sense to wait one time in the waiting line, except for waiting an appointment in one, two or three months. All this information you can also uh, find on our website when you go to activities and services, and then you can find the um, uh, information about visa and uh, residence permits. Uh, once the students from outside the European Union who have to apply for a residence permit, once you have done that, the registration, then you can make an appointment at the local immigration office in order to apply for your residence permit. The email is, uh, as you can see here, it's a long German word, Zuwanderungsabteilung at Kiel.de, but you can find that on our website as well, and we can also send you the information later. Um, do not uh, be uh, surprised, it takes a while until they answer. 
sometimes students are a little afraid when they wait three, four or five days and they still haven't received an, um, uh, a reply from the immigration office. It can take sometimes one to two weeks or longer until they answer you. And then again, it will take a few weeks or months until you have your appointment. Yeah, um, very important. Also to say that due to the, uh, because they do not have that many appointments available and students have to wait, sometimes the appointment at the immigration office is after the expiration of the visa or the former residence permit. And students are sometimes afraid and they say, oops, my visa expires by my appointment at the immigration office is just in one or two months. That really doesn't matter. If that happens, you will not face any problems with the authorities. The only problem will be if you want to work, if you want to start with a job, because you do not have a work permit yet that comes with the um, residence permit, or if you want to leave Germany and come back to Germany, because when you do not have a document, it will be difficult to re-enter Germany legally. So these might be two problems. If this is the case, uh, feel free to get in contact with us. Sometimes we can uh, you know, interfere with the immigration office and, and ask for an earlier appointment, but only if it is really needed, if the employer asks for it, or if you have to leave Germany in a very urgent case. But then, as I said, feel free to contact us and we can see what we can do. All right, a little more about the orientation program. This is the first webinar of, the, of this week's program. And I just want to uh, briefly tell you what else you can expect during this week. Uh, maybe you've seen this already um, on the website. Right after our talk today uh, at 12.30, my colleague Heik Neisel will introduce to you our International Students Career Service, which mainly focuses on entering the German labor market after your study program. But he also gives some advice regarding studying during your study program. Uh, we have, that is a very important topic for all students, not only international, but German students, uh, uh, a lecture about uh, academic integrity and plagiarism, which will be tomorrow on Tuesday at nine o'clock from nine to 10. And then we have a special session for our exchange students, which are Erasmus students, but also um, non-degree students from other partner universities. I know that we have a few students coming uh, from the US, from Korea, and from other partner universities. Those of you who uh, study as a non-degree student for one or two semesters, you have some special administrative rules that you need to follow, and that will be told to you tomorrow at the session at 3 p.m., tomorrow on Tuesday. Um, we know that the academic culture is very different from country to country, and probably you come from a country where the academic culture is really completely different, and you're surprised how it is here, how to talk to your professors, what uh, the, the administ all the administrative aspects of your study program, how lectures are structured, how exams work, oral exams or written exams. Um, all that will be introduced to you on our web in our webinar on Wednesday from 9 to 12 o'clock. This is a webinar that requires registration because there is only a limited number of students. Um, it's an interactive webinar and we only have a limited number of students that we can admit, but there are still free places. So um, if you want to register, feel free to send me an email afterwards. And as I said, you can then still register for that seminar. Uh, on um, Wednesday afternoon at three o'clock, we have another um, uh, consultation hour. This is just an hour for open questions. My colleague will be there again, Ms. Koslovsky. Our tutors will be there and you will be able just to ask us any questions you want to from 3 to 4 p.m. We will be available in breakout sessions. Uh, the Zoom link is also on the website of the orientation program. Then on Thursday, we have um, a seminar from 2 to 4 p.m. about how to handle Germany. This is an, uh, a workshop that um, we have done together uh, with the Studentenwerk um, for many years before, and we always did it in presence. This is the first time that the Studentenwerk and our tutors uh, have organized this workshop um, on a digital basis as a webinar. Uh, so it's the first time for us. And this webinar, How to Handle Germany, uh, should give you an introduction of many uh, aspects of your daily life 
while here in Kiel, aspects that do not relate to your academic work, um, but to life off campus, for example, about health and how to uh, arrange a doctor's visits, some um, administrative aspects like the radio and TV uh, fee. We have a session about daily needs, about shopping, grocery shopping, discounters, non-discounters, all these aspects of daily life will be covered covered in that seminar. It's open. You do not register. Everybody who joins the seminar can can join the webinar. Um, then uh, there is there will be an evening event with our tutors on Thursday, and the tutors have just told me that it will be a music evening. Uh, they everybody will be able to share their uh, music, and uh, I think they want to have then a music night, which they have organized. The description of that event also can be found on the on our website. Then there is another uh, webinar which requires a registration again because it's also interactive. It's about time management and self-organization. This topic has become more and more important, especially during the time when everything was digital, not in present. Many students faced difficulties to uh, with time management and the organization of their study program. Now this has changed again. Uh, many or most of the teaching will be in presence again, but still it's a very important topic. And since it is interactive, we also um, ask for a registration, but places are still available. Feel free to send me an email if you want to register for that. Uh, one of our tutors, he is a doctoral student, Zumia, maybe you've met him already, and he will give a little extra presentation only for the doctoral candidates. I don't know if there is any doctoral candidate here today, but he will uh, provide an overview of all the services that are especially offered for doctoral candidates um, on Friday from 2.30 on, and then all doctoral candidates are invited to join. And um, the, the week uh, on Friday will end with uh, a talk from our tutors at 4 p.m., living as a student in Kiel, tips from our tutors for culture, for sports, everything you want to do in your free time. So this is from student to student. And then, uh, I don't know, some of you have probably joined the campus tour on Saturday already. We have a sec second campus tour on April 2nd on uh, the coming Saturday, again at 3 p.m. We ask you to please sign up for that as well. Uh, but there we have enough spaces. I, I suppose that everybody who wants to join the second campus talk, uh, the campus tour will be able to join. Just send me an email. All right, I've mentioned our tutors already uh, and the webinar that they will be giving living as a student in Kiel on Friday, April 1st at 4 p.m. So those are the three um, students that we have, Maria, Mina, and Zuria. As I said, Zuria is our special uh, um, tutor for doctoral candidates. Um, feel free to contact them. Uh, their emails can be found on the website again, and they're here in the presentation. Feel free to contact them if you want to ask um, uh, other international students directly about their experience about studying in Kiel. Um, they will be joining also our consultation hours on Wednesday afternoon. And uh, yeah, there are many students who want to ask other students about their experiences. Feel free to do that and join the consultation hour also on Wednesday, and then you can talk to them. All right, um, we do have a sailing program for international students, uh, which unfortunately we weren't able to offer the year before and uh, also in 2021 and also in 2020 because of Corona. This year we can offer the sailing program again. It will be a program available to all international students and international scientists. Um, and um, you can find the description on our website. You do not need to know anything about sailing. No skills, no sailing skills are necessary. Everybody can just join as a guest on the boat um, where we have the cooperation with. Um, and uh, the dates are not uh, published yet uh, because the sailing season here will start in May. But around mid-April, we will have the dates available and then everybody can join the sailing trips. Um, they will be from uh, May till September. All right, um, so this was what I had to say. Um, feel free to contact me also later or then later in the breakout session or after that webinar um, directly per email. And um, then I think we can have the other colleagues providing their talks. And as we did in the years before, probably we can start with Studentenwerk and I will close my session and would kindly ask Johanna Usinger 
to tell us what Studentenwerk is. One moment still. Um, can the presentation irgendwie nicht starten als Presentation? Now, now it's working. Okay. <laughs> Hello to everyone. My name is Johanna Usinger and I work at the Studentenwerk Schleswig-Holstein and there at the International Student Advice. Studentenwerk Schleswig-Holstein offers different services for students, but not only for you at CAU, but also for all other students um, around in the land Schleswig-Holstein. There are about 60,000 students. And what do we offer? Um, we run the different different mensas and cafeteria cafeterias, so you can go there for lunch or have a coffee break um, during the day. Um, is it too loud? Because outside there's someone who's a very noisy. Um, I don't know cleaning stuff. Is it okay or is it very noisy for you? No, we can understand. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, yeah, you can go there to the Mensas and the main campus of um, Christian Albrechts University, there are two Mensas, it's Mensa 1 and Mensa 2. And you find opening hours on our website and go there for cheap lunch. Um, we also have different dormitories. So if you're lucky, you've got one of the rooms there and you will meet all other students who live there, especially dormitories for students. Um, in Kiel, they are located near the campus. And uh, what is good, it is um, uh, a rent which includes all, all costs. So there's also VLAN, uh, Wi-Fi, and uh, you don't have to pay later for electricity, for example. We have dormitories where you live alone in a little apartment, where you have your own bathroom and your own kitchen. There are also dormitories where you share a flat with two, three, or yeah, five other people, but there's also dormitories where you live um, on a floor with um, 10 other people with different dormitories. If you didn't get a room now for this semester, you can try it also in the other semesters um, and apply for it. And um, yeah, so it is a very cheap way to live here in Kiel. Um, the rents are cheaper. Um, um, and on the private um, market, it is uh, much more expensive. So you can try to get a room there in the dormitory. We have a workshop program where you can book sessions in the art and culture program, like theater, as you see it here in the photo, um, or radio, or creative writing, or hand lettering. So if you want to do something else than studying, you can have a look at our website and see what kind of courses we offer there. They cost about 10 or 15 euros. Uh, you need to register for it. And even if um, the information is probably only in German, you can join and there will be persons who can translate for you. Another department is the BAföG, which is a loan for students, but unfortunately, mostly for German students, though that is all what I want to talk at this moment. Um, and I work at the Advice and Counseling Center. So we offer social advice and psychological advice. I will talk about, um, about this now, uh, soon. Uh, we offer also daycare centers. So if you are here with your family, with your children, you can apply for a place there to bring the children there. They are also located near the campus. So um, if it is interesting for you, you can check it at our website as well. And in the advice and counseling center with different services for especially for international students. That is the advising at our international tutors in the dormitories, the study buddy program and the meet and eat tables in the mensas. So in the um, advice um, center, you can come if you need information how to meet other students, how you can finance your studies also if maybe later you are in trouble with your finances and need some advice um, about insurances working in Germany or if you are here with your child or if you become pregnant here in Germany and know what will change for you, then you, we can also give you advice and all information you need.
also about your daily life situation with others if you have troubles in your um, flats with your roommates something like that you can come as uh, also Jan Benzin offers at the international center it's very similar and you can also come if you don't know where to go with your questions and we are very good connected with all the other institutions so that we can tell you where you will um, get your answer for your question we offer also counseling by a psychologist so if you had doubt about your studies if you don't know if you want to go on studying if you have axon nerves or deep problems with um, other kinds of your life like the family or the partner or fears or something like that you can make an appointment and it is for free um, it is also in english and we do it face to face by phone or video call like you you want it um, you need to make an appointment and um, probably you need to wait a few weeks um, until you, you you can talk to someone but um, yeah you're well, very welcome to go there for one or some and talks. If you live in one of our dormitories, then there are international tutors. In each dormitory is one international tutor. Mostly they are themselves international students here in Kiel. So they know how it is going to be an international here. And they can ask you, answer you all the daily life question, like um, what uh, I want to wash my clothes. How is the washing machine running? Or where's the next supermarket? Um, you can contact them. They have posters in the dormitories with the contact. So contact them and probably they will also knock on, on your door and say hello and uh, welcome you there. They organize also events in the dormitories um, the, so that you can join and meet all the others um, that live there. And with all the, the study buddy program, which is very nice if, nice if you want to get to know German people here or German students. So you can register for the program and then um, we match you with, with uh, German students. So it's one-to-one -one tandems and um, you can spend your free time together. So we um, have a look if you have the same interests and hobbies and you can yeah, meet for talking, spend your free time, have fun. You decide how often you meet, you decide what you want to do with the, your study buddy. And we also organize events for all study buddies so that you can meet other international, but also even more German students. Um, register online if you want it, and um, then we met you within a um, yeah, few days with a German uh, student. Um, if you want to meet other um, students and have a lunch break, for example, then you're very welcome to our Mensa. And then you can go there and find the meet and eat table. It has the sign, which is here on the poster and the uh, meet and eat. And you can go there and all the people who sit on this table want to get in contact with others. So it's a very a simple way to meet others and um, have lunch, um, even if you're um, on your own at the moment at the campus. Jan Benzin already talked about the how to handle um, workshop um, on Thursday. Um, yeah, so I, I will not say um, anything more about that. Very welcome. You will meet uh, also our um, tutor, which organizes the study buddy program and tutor of um, the International Center and me and my colleague there. Yeah, and if you want to visit us in our advising center, and if you're already in Kiel, you will find us next to the library of the university that is in Leibnizstraße. And there um, on the other side of the library, um, there's the Mensa 2. And in the Mensa 2 on the ground floor, we have an advising center and you can meet us there um, and, and visit us there um, with, with or without an appointment or con contact us via email. All information and that I gave you now, you also find on our website, of course. And you can also follow us on our um, social media accounts to get more information. So thank you for your attention and welcome to Kiel now or maybe also later. Um, yeah, we hope that we can see a lot of you face to face uh, in this semester. Um, and uh, yeah, see you in presence and all the best for your studies for now. 
All right. Thank you very much, Johanna. And uh, now, with, uh, without any further ado, I would like to uh, ask Mauricio to present us what ASTA is. Have I made you a co-host already? Yeah. Well, um, thank you, uh, John and International Center for uh, this invitation. I think it's a very important meet to um, know about the situation in Kiel and University. Hello to everyone. Welcome to the University of Kiel, uh, to your university, and maybe to your new second home in Germany. Um, well, Something about me, my name is Mauricio Duarte Aleman. I'm from Colombia. I am a um, PhD um, student right now, uh, and uh, I am the referent for international students at the University of Kiel. And um, I am here to help you if you have problems or if you want to know more about the university and the process uh, there. What we'll to cover today, we are uh, we wanted to talking about what is ASTA and uh, uh, what, uh, how it works and maybe uh, what we have there. And I want to share you uh, one or two or three examples of our work at the university and the uh, free services that we have for you and for the other uh, people uh, um, or the community and the university where you can find use and uh, the other information about the situation in the university. Okay, what is ASTA? ASTA is the elected body for the implementation of student interest. That means uh, we see the ASTA as a team that represents the students of the TAU and implements the resolutions of the students' parliament. We develop our own proposals for solutions, conduct public relations, work, and we also support all the students individually. We are the central point of contact for students who have problems with their everyday studies, for example, who need advices, and for all those who want to actively shape the university, be it political or, for example, culturally, or with regard to various events. But the most important thing uh, from ASTA and from uh, this uh, small picture is the democracy. The University of Kiel had a very interesting democracy organ, and the ASTA is the executive body from this democracy. Yes, the ASTA is elected and controlled by the uh, student parliament, and the student parliament, or for short, STUPA is the name, uh, is elected by all the students every year. And I think the most important aspect about ASTA and the student parliament at the university is that we have an active democracy and you are able as a student to influence the decisions if you vote. I really want to invite you and all of you to be part of the university democracy and to elect the students who will represent you in the future. We have different uh, departments. We have a culture department, we have a ecology department, we have a student affairs department, and terracines, and we have also a, an international students uh, department. Uh, you, can, um, you can find the information uh, in the internet, but if you have something special, you can write us uh, all the time. One of the past projects is, for example, the bike stations. If you have a bike and you want to repair uh, your bike or your bike is simply being damaged, you uh, will find in different points of the university uh, some tools and accessories at the campus and then can help you to repair or to um, be better with your bike. One other uh, very important project was the semester ticket. With the semester ticket, uh, you have an, a public access to the transport in Kiel, and, but not only in Kiel. Uh, you have 
uh, access in the in the Schleswig-Holstein uh, region, and you can go also to Hamburg. Is a very important thing because we know that some students works, for example, in Hamburg on, or in another locations, not only in Kiel, maybe in Lübeck too, and it's uh, free or it's inclusive in the, in the fee from, from the semester when you pay. And you can use uh, the semester ticket for then the, the whole semester. A uh, very important thing that I want to advise you is uh, the semester ticket is able to use, or yes, it's maybe able to use in the region of Kiel and in Schleswig-Holstein, wie ich das gesagt habe. Sorry, that was a little bit German. And, uh, um, but it's, sorry, I, I want to tell you or to be clear that if you see the, the white one, the international, the Inter Express CLE train, you are not able to take them. If you take them, you have to pay um, the fee because we are only able to take the this one, the, the regional train and the other public transport options. That's the information. Well, we have um, some videos in YouTube that you can uh, look if you are new at the university and you can find some important information about the students, about the uh, lessons, and uh, it's really helpful if you are here. We have free service too. We have a uh, general student advising. We have advice for students with children. We have an international uh, student advising, but we uh, work together for international students with the international center and other institutions. And a very, very important thing is that we have a legal advice. If you have problems or legal, uh, yes, maybe legal problems we, we don't know, you can write us and we can make an appointment for you. Here is how to find use. We are uh, nearly to the Mensa uh, one. And uh, sometimes it's better, oh, sorry. Sometimes it's better if you, if you write us per uh, email because right now with the Corona situation, sometimes the office are closed. But um, if you write us um, an email on something or something like that, we, we can, um, find use all the time. Well, um, welcome to the key, welcome to Kiel, welcome to the university and enjoy the time at the university. That's all, thank you very much. All right, thank you very much for Mauricio for discovering what the word Asta means to us. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, last but certainly not least, I would like to ask Kultur Grenzenlos to tell us what they are and what star the, the stage is yours. Yes, just one minute. Ah, Jan, ich kann meinen Bildschirm nicht freigeben. Habe ich dich noch nicht zum, <laughs> zum Co-host gemacht? Doch, warte mal, zum Co-host. Oh, ja, stimmt. Ja. Jetzt müsstest du das können. Ja. Yeah. Now it should work. Okay. So hello everyone, my name is Rösta um, and I will give you some information about Kultur Grenzenlos, which is a, a student organization founded um, about seven years ago. Um, yeah, we want to create uh, intercultural encounters between young people in Kiel and have four projects and organize various events uh, where you can also participate. So let's start with the project Kultur Grenzlos on Campus. So in cooperation with the International Center, we organized the International Women's Cafe and the International Language Cafe. Uh, the International Women's Cafe, with the International Women's Cafe, we create a place for female students with and without a refugee or migrant uh, migration background. Uh, we talk about different topics and get to know about other countries and cultures. And yeah, we often also get creative and have also creative things planned um, for the next month. With the International Language Cafe, uh, which is open for everyone, 
uh, you have the opportunity to talk in different languages. Um, so you, make, you can make uh, new friends and also improve your language and intercultural skills. Um, then we have our... Yes, then we have our tandem project. Uh, here we match two persons, one person with a refugee or migrant background and one person without according to their hobbies and the tandems undertake leisure activities, uh, for example, going to a cafe or cooking together. And yeah, we also plan various events for the tandem partners. And then we have the Blickwinkle pro project. Uh, here you can gain experience in photography and filming as a part of in an intercultural media team. Um, with different photo and video projects, we want to show a good coexistence of different cultures in Kiel. Uh, yeah, we also record, for example, pod podcasts. Uh, with the project Edinberg, you have the opportunity to implement uh, your own idea. We have an event team meeting once a month uh, where you can bring in your idea and implement it together in, with an intercultural team. Um, for example, painting together. Um, we, you can play every Sunday, for example, volleyball or, or every Monday basketball. Um, due to the pandemic, we um, continue to offer many events online too. Um, yeah, why join us? You have the opportunity to participate in fun and creative leisure activities, meet new people in Kiel and have an active intercultural exchange. And you will be actively involved in creating a solidary and harmonious society. Um, you can follow us uh, on Facebook and Instagram. We always post our current events and have also a homepage where you can check our uh, calendar with the current events for, the, for this month and also with, for the next month. Um, yeah. We're looking forward to meeting you. And that's all from me now. Thank you for, for your attention. <laughs> thank you very much, Rochda, for the presentation. And thank you also to um, all the other colleagues who presented their work and their institutions here. Uh, I just want to mention that Kultur Grenzenlos really does a, a very great work and a good job here on campus. And that last year they have won the prize for integration from the DAD, which was really very well deserved. So thank you very much Kultur Grenzenlos for, for all the activities that you offer to the students here, to the German and the international students on campus. Um, all right, I, I hope that everybody that you learned from this organization that there are many people and many organizations who want to take care of you and whom you can contact in case that you have a problem or questions. Um, we will be now, as I said, available in the breakout session. So at this point, I think we can uh, stop the recording.